The No Fate Channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Gadgets, I am reviewing the TBI Pro Wireless Headphones U9. We're going to go over pros, the cons, the ins, the outs, and if this product is right for you. If this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below on this Dad's Gadget series. I simply review a piece of equipment or tech that is sent to me or in this case, ones that I just buy myself because it's something that I'm interested in. And I go over it, do a review to help you decide if it is right for you, something that might benefit you, and to more importantly, make sure that it is right for your hard-earned money. Today, as I mentioned, we've got the TBI Pro wireless headphones. I believe these are the U9. Um, if you go on Amazon, some of these products all look the same. So it is just super hard to determine which of these is good, which of these is poor, which of these is bad. Um, and I picked these up myself for specifically for my shadow boxing. Okay, I tend to do heavy bag and shadow boxing in the basement, not because I'm a boxer or have any skill whatsoever, but because I find it is a fun way to burn calories, get that heart rate up, um, and not be bored sitting, or I should say walking, on a treadmill. Now, I do have a number of wireless headphones, but how, when I do box, shadow box and such, I do find that once I get sweaty, once I'm moving around, that they slip out of my ears quite, quite quickly. So I picked these up in order to determine if these would be right for me. Where these loop over my ears, I felt that these would have a lot less movement on them. So let's just quickly go over pros and cons. I don't like to do unboxings. I find those to be very, um, very poor. So we're going to try to do this in a somewhat linear fashion, but uh, bear with me. So first off, how much do these cost? You go on Amazon. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Uh, full disclosure, that does help me out and it does give me a little bit of money back for purchasing these things and uh, helps me do other reviews. Full disclosure, first con is that this box is almost impossible to get open. It's, it's a real pain to get open. Um, but frankly, once you open it once, you're not going to be opening it much, much more. Um, in terms of cost, $35 on Amazon, and that is, a, that is probably on the medium side in terms of um, headphones. Clearly, you can get headphones from everywhere from you know, $15 all the way up to like $200. So these are $35, and as we know with Amazon, they often run deal of the day. They run discount coupons, codes. So I would say the high watermark should be $35, and we're going to talk about if that price point is worth it at the end of this video. So what does this quickly come with? It comes with a nice carrying case like most, which zippers up. It's got the customer service number on the back, which is nice. And um, these came with these, these little squishy ear things for your ears. Okay, so they came with these, and I know from, from reviews of, uh, in the past where people have commented on these things, People love these type of earbuds. For some reason, when they put them in their ears, they find that the audio quality is great. It, like, it improves the bass. It fits perfectly. And I'll tell you right now, I never like these, and I think it's the shape of my ear. I don't think it's the product itself. So if you're one of those people that loves these little things that, they, that initially comes with, drop it in the comments below. I'm curious why you think these things are so great. I just can't stand them. So I took them off. And thankfully, it came with your typical small, medium, and large uh, little gummy, gummy things for your ears. Um, and those seem to work very, very well. So a few minor pros. Let's just kind of get these out of the way. The instruction manual is quite, quite good. Oftentimes, with these wireless earbuds, you don't get any instruction manual, and you're kind of left on your own uh, to figure it out. So that instruction manual is really, really good. As far as uh, the buttons go, the buttons are e easy and obvious. There's three buttons on the top, uh, one for increased, one for decreased, one in the middle. And then depending on the hold time, which the instructions explain, you can do a couple other multifunctions, which again is nice. So simply, you loop these over the back of your head, you loop which one over the ear, and it fits very, very well. Um, so let's quickly talk about audio quality. The audio quality is good. At the $35 mark, it's probably what I expected, if not a little under what I expected at that $35 mark. But again, keep in mind, I'm specifically buying these for the purpose of just listening to music, listening to audio tapes, or just um, boxing instructional stuff while I'm shadow boxing. And frankly, um, it's good enough. It's good enough. But again, at the $35 mark, I did expect a little bit higher audio quality. Let's talk about noise canceling. There's two different types of noise canceling. There's, there's, there's system noise canceling where there's actual software in here that is helping remove the background noise from your environment. And then there's passive noise canceling. 
This has no system noise canceling. There's no software in here that's going to help reduce the noise. The only noise canceling is the passive uh, noise canceling from having these earbuds stuck in your ear. And that is a testament to making sure that you find the right one that fits nice and tight um, because the, the tighter it is, the more uh, it's going to cancel out the audio from your surroundings. As far as the fit, so the reason I bought these was to use during my workouts and make sure that um, they don't slip and slide during, you know, training boxing and whatnot. They fit perfect. Once these things are in, even when I am so soaked and covered in sweat, they don't budge. Um, one of the things that I like about these and some people don't, wouldn't like about these is the actual cord. So some people like having individual earbuds that are, you know, you can just take one out and you put it in your pocket. The reason I actually like the cord is because it keeps me from actually losing one of these. If it falls out, it's still attached to the cord. Um, or if I happen to be in the gym and I'm working out, I can actually take this one out of my ear, tuck it under my shirt, and I don't have to actually put it in my pocket and there's less chance that I will lose them. Um, oftentimes I find the ones that are uh, individual uh, they tend to go missing or at the very least get displaced for a significant amount of time just because, uh, you know, you take one out because someone's talking to you and you forget where you kind of put it. So that's one of the reasons that I think that that's a benefit, but some of you might consider that as a negative. In terms of battery life, this thing says 12 hours. If you go on the Amazon page, I'll put a photo of it up here. It says 12 hours. I'm going to tell you it does not last 12 hours. I got nine hours before I had to recharge these. And when they ever give you, when any company tells you, that, that the product is going to last you X amount of hours. Keep in mind that is at the lowest volume setting. The higher the volume you like to listen to your music, the more the battery is going to drain, or I should say the quicker the battery is going to drain. So you're not going to get 12 hours out of these. You're probably going to get nine hours, which again, prior to charging, is it's a good amount of time. I don't know who's working out for nine hours before they have to do a charge. And that's at the volume level that I set. If you used a lower volume level, you're probably going to get more use out of it. In terms of the charging, it is a very simple and a very easy, um, you know, micro S, you know, micro USB connector that you would find on most Android phones um, that many of you probably have a dozen of those little connectors kicking around. And it comes with a little charging USB connector. So you don't have to actually get one if you don't have one um, it does come with that. So that is super easy, super convenient. And the fact that I've got a thousand of those connectors kicking around the house makes it uh, just that much more convenient. So the call quality is another one that is not necessarily a pro or a con. When you buy these, you're really buying these to use when you're running, when you're working out, when you're on the go. You're not really buying these to make phone calls from them, but I will say it is nice to have, in case you do get an incoming call, to be able to just click that button and use, uh, just listen to and speak to uh, someone on, on your earbuds. I will say the, the audio quality going out is average, but again, that's what your expectation is. It's probably on point with if you were holding your phone up to your ear. Um, there's no there's no type of you know audio correction. Um, so if you're outside, you're going to get a lot of wind noise. But again, that's not your expectation when you buy these. But it is good to know that you're going to get at least some type of microphone built into these headphones, uh, so you can take and receive calls. I will say the audio commands on here. So like when you when it when it powers up, uh, when when you, when you shut down. Uh, or when you do get an incoming call is very nice. I believe they use a British voice on here. And I don't know what it is about those European accents, but something about it is just very like relaxing. It makes you feel like, you know, that whole stay calm and carry on type of mentality. When you hear that, that British voice telling you that there's like an incoming call, uh, it's nice. I like it. I don't know why. Uh, but overall, very, very pleased with these headphones. Are they worth $35? And I'm probably going to tell you no for a few reasons. I don't think that the audio quality is high enough to warrant these at $35 only because you could probably get something comparable at $20. I would say I like these. I would say I'm glad I bought them. They're not going back. I'm definitely going to keep them and use them. And I would say if this is something that you're interested in, it might be worth putting that in your Amazon um, inbox, or I should say saved list or researched list, whatever list you might have of of items in order to see if they go on sale. Because I do know these things run coupons like every other week. So if you can bring this down to $30 or even $25, then I would definitely give you uh, the buy category in terms of whether you should pick these up for you. And again, for me, having this extra cord is something that I really, really like and I do find is a benefit for wireless, uh, 
wireless earbuds versus the individual ones for working out, specifically for working out. And one of the nice things too about this cord is it got this little black device. So once you wrap it around your head, you can take the excess and you can tighten it up so it's not going to be swinging around. I'll give you a little example here. Because on other audio um, earbuds that did have a cord, I did notice that they weren't balanced. And oftentimes that excess cord would swing around and just kind of smack me in the face, especially when I was, you know, throwing my fake little uh, wannabe MMA punches in the air. Uh, so it is nice to see that this cord is pinned back, especially if you're going to be running, if you're going to be doing really intensive up and down, side to side lateral motions, that cord is not gonna be an issue. Um, and that is a huge, huge factor, at least for me, at least for the specific reasons that I bought this product. Again, $35 overpriced. I would like to see this come down to 30 or 25. And I'm sure probably twice a month it does with the coupons or deal of the day that this thing runs. Um, if you're interested in picking up the TBI uh, wireless headphones U9, I'm gonna drop an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Of course, it helps me out helps keep the lights on and it helps give me a reason to keep doing these gadget reviews. If you came this far in the video, do me a favor, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. I want to know which wireless headphones or earbuds or any type of audio device you're currently using and what you think of it. Is it something that I should be trying out? Is it worth your hard earned money? Are you glad you purchased it? Drop it down below. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.